Good morning and welcome here. We're getting ready to go to the grocery store. I love grocery shopping, but I don't often do it. I usually send Billy and like I stay home with the kids or whatever, we go on adventure. Um, so I'm excited because I'm going to the grocery store alone. Uh, and this is going to be quite a large yeah. shop because it's been a minute since we've been to the grocery store. So I need to get going. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this cold. There's ice on the windshield. <laughs> oh, Canada. Grocery shopping used to be one of my very favorite things to do in the whole world. I really hate spending money, like it hurts me to my core, but spending money on good food just always feels right. I'm a big believer in food as medicine, so the things that you put into your body definitely affect your overall health and happiness. So I think it is definitely worth it to splurge a little bit more and buy better quality food. I've also had a lot of fun because I've been able to live in a few different countries now, and it's just been a joy to be able to go and shop at these different places, see the different things that are offered, the different kind of seasonalities and I don't know it's just really fascinating to me having said all of that I now hate grocery shopping it's across the whole world I know but grocery shopping is just so expensive now I still value trying to get the better quality ingredients to put into our food but it, it's just it really hurts inflation has definitely impacted the entire world but there's also the fun new thing called shrinkflation it's where companies take the same product and give you less but charge you more for example the same block of cheese that you've been buying forever used to be a certain price now they charge you more and it's even smaller of a block or another classic example getting a bag of chips and it's mostly air even though it now costs more money than it used to gotta get my dollar back it's almost a game now to go through and see which companies do it the worst Dun, dun, dun. Here is our my house of grocery shelf. It was it was a lot of money and it hurt my soul to do it. But it is all good food and I know that we will eat it because this is the food that we eat every single time we go grocery shopping. So I mean, first I wanted to show you everything that we got and like how expensive it is here in Vancouver, whatever. It's all fun to go see like new grocery stores. But the other thing too, I have a cut on my thumb. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to kind of talk about the kind of meals that we eat with this grocery shop because like we don't buy a whole lot of snacks, which it's actually funny because I was $2 away from $300 and the cashier was like, oh, if you spend another $2, you get a free thing. And I was like, well, what is the free thing? Because usually there's a lot of things that I don't like, but it was this like snack box <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I got a box of band-aids is the most random thing in the checkout aisle but as you can see we don't really typically buy a lot of super snacky things or like heavily heavily processed and that's just the way that we like eating it makes us feel good and i also like not really having a lot of those options around because then the kids aren't constantly asking for them just less fights to be had some of our favorite meals let me go grab our this is our very um <laughs> homemade little list that i came up with but i have this idea that's like every other week we'll have a different meal and then you repeat it so then it doesn't feel too repetitive but it kind of answers the question like what are we having today i mean it's very flexible if we don't feel like having thai curry that night or we really don't have the ingredients for it obviously you can swap it with something else and then i also have other ideas on the back but like some of the meals that we commonly have are sushi bowls so like i got nori sheets and we always have tuna in the cabinet and so just making sushi rolls and then we like to put it over salad greens and then making it into a big nice meal that's one of our favorites we also have a ton of quesadillas like an absurd amount <laughs> and you can go as easy and quick as this as you want so just like refry beans and cheese or you can make it fancier and make like guacamole and make salsa and do like loaded quesadillas those are really good we also make chicken enchiladas and this is like a staple because i like to get a whole chicken and make these chicken and bean enchiladas and it makes so many of them so it will feed us for three meals a lot of the time so it's like a good meal prepping thing another meal that we really love any kind of like chili garlic oil noodles so any kind of asian noodle it'll kind of change every time but you can load in the veggies in it and it's just some really fun noodles with a yummy sauce so that's a nice variety of course we have normal like spaghetti too because the kids love it and eat it so well another meal that we have been having on repeat recently is just like a bean chili kind of thing we might be having some guests come with. hi william bean chili with cheesy chips so good hi what is it are you playing outside with daddy look at all of this food another thing i've been having a ton of recently is i'll slice up apples and i'll make an apple dip so it's just Greek yogurt, peanut butter, and then a like sneeze of cinnamon. And it is divine. 
Yeah. It is so good, and it is my go-to kind of like sweet snack right now. Um, avocados, obviously, so good for the kids and for us, and we eat it with a lot of different things. We have been going through a bit of an egg phase recently, so we've been eating a ton of those. Uh, we also eat tons and tons of peanut butter. Anytime we have bread, I like it. And then we also make a lot of like smoothies, so that uses a ton of bananas and peanut butter. Um, frozen blueberries, we have a lot of oatmeal as well, so I like to add that to that. We have been trying to bulk up our protein, and so an easy way to do that is just throw in cottage cheese to a lot of things. The kids love to eat frozen peas, and I like coach peas. So that's another simple little like easy snack hack for kids. Tofu is another crazy thing because like William will like it just chopped up, plain, cold, whatever. And it's great because it's a great source of protein and it's super clean and a lot cheaper than like chicken or something. I'm just gonna hand these off to you. So yeah, that's the bulk of how we eat. We also like to try to make different curries, both Indian and Thai. We have all the basic stuff for that, so we just kind of rotate through a few different curries. I also like getting whole chickens because then I'll make a few different meals with it, but then I also will use the bones to make a chicken stock with leftover veggie scraps like carrots and celery and onions and stuff. So yeah, I think I think that basically covers everything. Thank you so much for watching, <laughs> and I love watching grocery hauls, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!